Hello everyone, welcome to Game Art. In this tutorial, we will see uh, how to enable displacement on the material and how to apply displacement on the mesh and landscape. All right, let's get started. When you open the new Unreal, when you um, add any material, and uh, you will be wondering that why the displacement is missing on my material. To enable the displacement, there is a small um, small change we need to do in the um, engine game config so you need to find the location so click any folder and go to your project um, and so I have a project called tutorial so there is a, a config folder is there so open that and you need to open the default engine and here up you can see all this R dot you know uh, commands so here what you need to do is um, you need to type um, r dot uh, nanite and dot allow uh, tessellation is equal to one and one more line r dot nanite dot Tessellation sequence to one. So uh, this is the change you need to uh, add on your default engine. So you will get these two lines in your uh, in this video description. You can just you know copy and paste on your uh, you know this notepad. All right, just save that. Once you have done that, you just have to close your um, project and or reopen again. So if you want to save it, you can save it and then just close. All right. So I reopened the project after changing that uh, small changes. So now if I check the material, you can see the displacement is there. So before the displacement was missing. So now we need the um, um, what called textures. To get the uh, nice texture you can go to pixel bridge so um, I uh, downloading this one this material all right so okay now we have uh, the material ready and we have done the um, material setup for the displacement as well so we have displacement here all right so um so this this map is ord it's like roughness and displacement everything is there on that so i'm just uh, taking all the textures onto my material um just sure okay just hang on not that just create this one just delete this two for now and create new material called rock something all right just for that you you need to type uh, em underscore or emi underscore rock uh, you can put your own name okay anyway just open that I'm just selecting all the textures and uh, that's my base color and this is my normal my normal map and here the blue channel you put your displacement and the green can be roughness and this can be your ambient occlusion all right save that now what you have to see is the as i said so now we have all the material set up ready so we have displacement and we apply our textures so now um, let's create some plane so you can have your own custom mesh custom if for example if you have a pathway if you have a road or if you have anything building or walls from uh, you can export from uh, any 3d software and uh, you can apply on that for now for this tutorial I'm just um, uh, I'm just enabling uh, you know I'm just trying on the plane just a simple plane so before doing that 
before applying to the um, you know all right okay I, I will tell you another way so um, let's add the material on the plane and see how that works so this is our material and here it is you will see that um, you will see that there is no uh, bump is there you can see the normal map but the displacement is missing all right of course displacement is missing to get the displacement it is very easy thing first you just um, um, uh, open the uh, mesh and just have to enable the nanite and you can see displacement all these things is there and you can even add your textures here this texture displacement texture and say apply changes as soon as you up do the apply changes you will see that it's already started working here you can see the displacement is started working there so you can close the mesh now the remaining tweaking you can do on your material so on the material you will see the displacement you can uh, change the magnitude and the center so you can play with the uh, how much height you want all right it's looking good and let's add any character or something so i have one um, i can mesh it's, it's pretty small so i can just increase all right so um yeah i can even change the tiling of the um, texture um what call texture coordinates so um add that into your this uvs and your normal uv and your the mask uvs and let's say one two and save it so you can see there is that it's a tiling two times style you can see it's a repeating with displacement i think it's displacement is too much oops not trying to just two sorry all right so i think that's so so okay so that's it so now we have um, so now we have a nice um you know ground with the displacement all right now um let's look into how to add displacement on your landscape let's create landscape so create landscape or is the landscape so yeah we have a landscape ready to apply the material so we're going to our new uh, material the same material which we applied on the mesh we can just um, select the landscape and press the material landscape we can just apply the landscape material on the mesh so now you can see material is applied but there is no displacement to enable the displacement again on the mesh the same thing what we did on the mesh is we select the landscape and under the nanite just say build data when you enable the nanite and say build data so the problem with here is that our material <coughs> sorry so we need to tweak the material it's also high for the landscape so open the materials i would say you need to duplicate the material one for your um, mesh uh, one for your landscape because we need to the the values is a little different for landscape and mesh so open the material under the displacement uh, where is the displacement here where is the displacement yeah displacement maybe you can play with the point two 
and maybe this one I don't know maybe point two again just save that all right it's pretty it's still big so you can again point zero uh, one save that all right it's a little bit this there but we need a little more maybe um i can end point nine save that oops it's too big point five save that all right not bad i think it's kind of yeah and maybe point three So yeah, this is looking really good. So we have landscape with, um, you know, nanite enabled on the landscape, and then we have displacement material. So this is just one material. That's why it looks so boring. Everybody is a tiling. So if you have different material on, you can, um, you know, uh, you can create your own landscape material with. Uh, right now it's so one material you can have three material and put a landscape uh, blend layer and you can create your uh, landscape material you can paint it with displacement that's uh, something really interesting so you can even change the tiling let's see if, we, if this tiling works let's put one here one there and see yeah it's working really good so in that case if the tile is less big you need to change the displacement maybe again magnitude maybe um eight all right super so we have nice landscape with the displacement so it's a nanite enable so nanite thing so so you can see so the far away from here is just a texture only few areas is displacement with the tessellation so it's well optimized in that case you don't have to worry about if you have a very very huge thing huge landscape then it's uh, you need to think about the performance but if you have a small landscape you can even use this one you don't have to worry about the uh, performance so yeah it's looking good so you have a nice landscape with uh, uh, you know displacement all right guys thanks for watching and uh, you also try and comment your feedback whatever your thoughts if there is anything wrong on my video you can you know comment that one i hope you enjoyed these two techniques two um, new uh, things which you learned displacement on uh, your custom mesh and displacement on uh, landscape and how to enable displacement on the material all right thank you guys um, have a good day uh, try and best of luck on your project